Welcome to Myon. Today we're going to learn how to log into Myon. There are more than 6,000 books in the Myon Digital Library, so we will explore all the ways you can browse and search for books you want to read. To get started, be sure you have Wi Fi. Then go to www.myon.com and click the purple login button. Enter the login information you received from your school, library, or community program. Start typing in the school name you were given and click on it from the drop down menu. Then enter the username and password you were given. And all you have to do is click sign in. Once you're logged in, you can begin to look for books to read from the library. You can find books in English and Spanish. In the Browse tab, you will find books that are grouped or categorized by topic and subtopic. You can easily see the total number of books that are within each category. You can also filter your search to find fiction, nonfiction, or even graphic novels. If you're interested in science, you can see that there are many books under that topic. Click on one of the subtopics available within the category. If you want to read about technology, there are many books to choose from. You can search to find books that are just right for your grade level. There are many search filters to help you find books. Just type a keyword into the search bar and set specific criteria matched to your reading level or grade level. Then click search. For example, you may want to find a book about weather that is just right for the first grade. Set the grade level filter and see what books are in the library. Or you can search for books about space just right for the fifth grade. Scroll down to see each of the books that match your search and choose one to read. Nice! I've always wanted to read this. Once you have chosen a book, it's time to read it. To open a book, simply hover over the book cover and choose the green book icon. Click start the book to begin reading. Let's give it a listen. Introducing Skip, Joey, Drew, Donnie. Max. Notice the audio narration and the text being highlighted. You can use these to help you read the book. If you're reading with someone else, you may want to mute the audio so you can read along together at your own pace. Or you can let the audio play and listen while the book is being read to both of you. Use the toolbar at the bottom of the page to turn the audio on or off. You can adjust the volume by using the slider. You can also turn off the highlighting off or on right here. Mayan makes it easy to learn the meaning of new words too. Click on a word in the text to see a dictionary pop up on the side of the screen. You can see the definition of the word and listen to how the word is pronounced. Laboratory. Use the forward arrow to turn pages in the book. If you want to go back and read a page again, use the back arrow. Double click on any page to zoom in and see the details of images more clearly. Use the zoom slider to see the text up close. When you get to the last page of the book, if you have read all the pages, you can click the blue button that says, I have finished this book. Now you can rate the book. Just click on the stars. The more you like the book, the more stars you should give it. You can also go back and read any book again, as many times as you wish. You also have access to Maya News, which is news written just for you. To get to your Maya News homepage, look for the news icon and the purple banner. Each weekday, Mayan News publishes five articles on topics such as around the world, U.S. news, animals, sports, discovery, arts, wacky news, and kids in the news. There's also a search feature you can use to search for articles on specific topics or people. Once you find an article you're interested in, just click to start reading. I can turn on the audio and have the article read aloud as I follow along. Protecting animals on the move. Countries come together to take care of shared creatures. I can click on the vocabulary words to get the definition. Migratory. I can make the text bigger or smaller to make it easier for me to read. Even better, each article is available in English, Spanish, and French. That's pretty cool. There's a ton of other features within each Maya News article, such as a map to show me where in the world the article takes place, a related video, a slideshow, and other information about the author of the article. Once you're done reading an article, you can give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the article or a thumbs down if you didn't care for it. If you really like a story and want to learn even more about the topic, 
my aunt suggests other books you can read. At the end of each article is a three-question quiz to see if you understood what you read. You can take this quiz for fun or skip it if you want. With Mayan, you have lots of choices about what to read, and you can read anytime, anywhere. Have fun reading with Mayan.